prototype prosthetic hand containing sensors bestowing the sensation of touch has been successfully trialed for the first time in Italy. Amputee Dennis Albo Sorensen, who was the lucky recipient to test the prototype, can now feel objects for the first time in nine years. The first time they, they uh, turned it on and we worked with the, with the new hand, it, it was uh, amazing because suddenly I could feel things uh, that I haven't been able to, to for so many years and, and it was uh, a kind of you can feel round things and hard things and soft things and that was quite amazing. An international team led by Silvestro Missera at the Swiss-based Ecole Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne designed the hand to interact with the body's own nerves. The, the hand has several sensors attached to each tendon of each finger and we can use these sensors to understand the level of force the patient was performing while grasping an object. And we use this force information to deliver very precise stimulation to the different sensory nerves in order to restore this real-time sensory feeling into the nervous system. The prosthetic limb works via sensors on the fingers that detect information about touch and then send signals to implanted electrodes connected to the body's peripheral nervous system. Using computer algorithms, scientists transform those electrical signals into something the body's sensory nerves can interpret. The successful prototype means the creators are now seeking to miniaturize the electronics required in order to make a viable permanent prosthetic for use in varied environments. As for Sorensen, he's gone back to using his old prosthetic owing to safety restrictions imposed on clinical trials, although the scientists are optimistic that the electrodes implanted in him could remain functional without damage to the body for many years.